Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today is day two of seven days to sacred self-care, where I'm taking you on a journey to explore different self-care techniques and practices so that you can actually formulate your own regular self-care practice for your own self. So I'm taking you through different techniques each day for seven days so that you can experience them and then pull some of the techniques into your own life. This is all on the back of me losing my way and expressing how I lost my way <laughs> for six months and um, I'd stopped exercising, stopped doing my practices and how it resulted in a messy office, messy mind, me feeling really down and out of sorts and how I got myself back on track with all the different self-care practices that I've put back together. So hopefully you caught yesterday's um, video where I talked about um, doing effective journaling. So yesterday I'm gonna call um, journey, uh, journaling the journey. <laughs> and then today is breathe and be. So breathing, taking time out, taking that step back, when you're really under pressure and you're really feeling anxious and you're feeling like overwhelmed and you've got things to do and it, there's deadlines and you're just really sort of, oh my God, I'm really anxious. Uh, I've got to get this done, get that done. And um, you seem to be in a real quandary, chaotic chaos. What do you do? You stop, take a step back and you breathe and be. What I mean by that is you take three deep breaths and these breaths aren't just any old breath. You're going to breathe right into your whole soul. Breathe in to your pelvis and then you're going to breathe out. Right, so you're really squeezing your abdomen back towards your spinal column. So you empty your lungs and when you think it's empty, empty a bit more. Then you wait and then you breathe in again right into your pelvic pelvic floor and when you think you've filled up you breathe in again and really bring in more breath and then you let go again squeeze out to your pelvis to your spinal cord, column okay and then you do that again for three times what you're doing with that is you're telling your body that you're in a state of calm that you're in a state and there is no danger Okay, when you breathe deeply, you're telling your body that your parasympathetic nervous system is not needed because that's what kicks in when you're shallow breathing. Yeah, you're shallow breathing because you're in a panic and you're stressed. And the idea with that is your body thinks, oh, my God, there's some kind of danger. I better breathe quickly to get the oxygen in so that I can fill up my lungs and send the oxygen around my body to my to my muscles so that I can actually fight the danger, flee from the danger or freeze so you can hold your muscles or faint. Just check out. Yeah. So that's your Parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system kicking in to protect your body, okay? So what you want is your sympathetic nervous system to say, hey, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's cool. Everything's calm. Adrenaline can be calmed down. Cortisol can be calmed down. Dopamine can be coming in. The endorphins, the good feeling vibes can be coming in and calming your whole system down. So breathe and be. And when you're being, you're feeling into your body, feeling into your clothes, feeling the clothes on your skin, feeling your muscles, feeling your organs, feeling your lungs, feeling the breath going into your lungs. You're being in the moment and you're being still and just being, being you, being the beautiful you that you are. Just be.
present. And on the last breath, if you can actually hold that last breath, hold it full in your lungs and hold it for as long as possible, you'll get the DMTs, you'll start feeling euphoric and as if you're on some kind of plant medicine and it just takes you into this other dimension. But only do that if you feel comfortable to do that and then let the breath out. So that's what we're going to do today as part of your sacred self-care techniques, practices. Try it out and see what happens. And then in your journal, journal what you felt, how you, what happened for you, what state you were in when you finished doing your breathing and being. Now, if you really want to get into breathing and um, being, uh, my friend Lillian Latte, she is the expert of pause and breathe, her techniques on breathing and helping uh, women, especially, especially women over 40 who are in business, to really decompress, pause, breathe, and come away from burnout. I'm going to put a link to her uh, website and her information in somewhere around this video, and you can connect with her to get some really good exercises around breathing and pausing and being. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day three. I wonder what I can come up with for, for day three. I'll have to think about that one. Love you loads. See you later.